Hi everyone, I just wanted to produce this educational video uh, with one of the most powerful trading signals in the market and it's called engulfing candles and uh, I think you'll find it really uh, instructive. Uh, now just a reminder about the licensing information and uh, the fact that this is general advice only in this particular video. So the first one I want to have a look at is a stock called Caltex. And you can see here that Caltex has been in a very, very strong uptrend from around $13 or $14, uh, has got as high as uh, $23 in uh, the, the most recent past. But the particular uh, entry day that, um, that we secured was, um, was here on the uh, 25th of February. So the stock had been running up very hard. It had, it had pulled back. And what we're looking for is a chart pattern where basically at the end of a, a bit of a decline so we've had some profit taking and then we get a gap down on the open the next morning so this candle here indicates that the opening price was down here at um, 1793 so significantly lower than what it had closed the previous night the price then dropped a little further before it then uh, started to rise during that trading session and completely engulfed the previous day's candle. So you can see this candle completely covering the previous day. That's generally a, a very powerful signal. It doesn't, doesn't always work, but it does work a high percentage of the time. So it gives you a significant edge and you can build a good trading plan around that. So our technique is to enter uh, towards the close of trading. So our uh, entry price was at 1867 now you'll notice the following day and we'll put this um, just put this on on training mode so that you can see this a little more clearly so we'll just take all of those days out of the equation so that was the day that we got in uh, the following day it actually traded down a little bit uh, and we'd put our uh, our exit just underneath the low of this day here so we got in at 1867 and we had our low uh, one dollar below that particular level now the next day it traded down but it didn't get to our uh, exit point so we continued on in the uh, in the trade and the, the following day it um, it traded up uh, very strongly and then again the following day after that so we're now through to the 28th of February another powerful day and we're up at around $20 now as the price continues to rise um, we basically trail our exit up behind it and we're letting the market show us basically what's happening we then got a another really big surge uh, on the, the following day and it just kept rising and we just kept trailing our stop up behind it we're now up over $22.40 so this is now the, the 6th of March our original entry the 25th of February so we've certainly accumulated some uh, very good profit on this trade and we've been progressively locking in that profit through a trailing exit now we finally got to this day here on the 8th of March and it just looked like it was starting to turn around but really there was no need for us to take any action at that point in time and the following day it pushed a little bit higher but until we reached this particular day here on the 12th of March where we actually got an engulfing candle but in the opposite direction now there's one of two triggers is going to uh, have us take our profit one of which is the price comes back down fairly gently and hits our trailing exit or we get an abrupt signal in the opposite direction which is what happened on this on this occasion so we basically exited at the close of trade on that day so our entry was 1867 we risked a dollar but we ended up getting out at 2209 so we made uh, in excess of three dollars so our risk to reward ratio there was a very attractive three to one let's have a look at um, the next trade and this is um, uh, United Group and 
this is an engulfing candle going in the opposite direction so what we're doing here is we're short selling uh, the market if you're not sure what that means uh, don't worry that'll be explained in uh, in later videos so you can see here again we've got the same pattern we had an uptrend uh, we actually had um, we actually had a, uh, a double topper or actually a triple top arrangement here uh, we got a complete engulfing of the previous day closed down near its lows and so that was a uh, pretty promising entry signal for us so we actually entered at eleven dollars and sixty and we had our exit point in case it went against us just above the high here at uh, 11.95 so in actual fact we're risking 35 cents on this trade now you can see the following day the price really started to fall apart and and fell very very rapidly as you can see as this um, as this particular trend unfolds and as in the previous trade we've been trailing our exit down behind this particular um, uh, trade as it progressed now this one in fact is uh, is still open you can see it's gone down a fair way but at this point in time we are still in this trade and uh, so we risked 35 cents and at the time of preparing this particular video the uh, the trade was down at uh, nine dollars fifty two so we're um, we're more than two dollars in front having risked 35 cents so that's an extremely good trade um, now of course you wouldn't want to participate in this trade because it's the the good entry opportunity is always passed let's have a look at the third one and this is a trade that uh, that didn't work so we'll have a look at uh, at a transaction that uh, that in this particular case didn't work out so we'll just remove all of that history so you can see here we had uh, we had basically an uptrend um, we then went into a, a bit of a downtrend and we got this engulfing candle again where the price gapped down a little bit on the on the opening price and then traded higher throughout the day so our entry was at five dollars and eight uh, just before the close of trade on the 16th of January and we put our exit at $4.88 just under the low of uh, this particular day so let's see how that trade progressed so initially it went down almost um, almost triggered us to get out but not quite the trade then went up up and down for a few days it was really a bit all over the place as you can see so we're about um, we got in on the 16th of January we're through now to the 12th of February and finally we got a day where the price broke down below the uh, the stop loss exit that we'd set and so that was our uh, our exit to uh, to get out so that turned out to be a losing trade so we lost basically one times risk on that trade and let's just have a look at the final one this is uh, a medical stock called um, Surtex medical and you can see here again the same sort of pattern we've been looking at before very strong uptrend we got some profit taking and then we got a very sharp engulfing candle um, to basically reverse that downtrend so our entry was the 20th of February we got in at ten dollars forty and we had a sixty cent gap down to our exit so we're risking sixty cents again initially as often happens the following day after a big rise it takes a little bit of a, a backward step but uh, and mucked around for a couple of days but then the price started to move progressively higher so at this stage we've started moving our trailing exit up because we've got some profit to lock in so the first step is to bring our trailing exit up to our entry price so we move our trailing exit up from $9.80 which was so originally our trailing exit was here we now move our trailing exit up to our entry point which was at uh, ten dollars and forty cents so this is now a no risk trade 
and you can see the trade still basically progressing but at the time of preparing this video it's almost to the point of, of uh, exiting us from the trade so the worst case scenario here is that this, this is a break-even result um, or alternatively it could uh, continue on and be a successful trade so this is a very uh, powerful trading signal and uh, and it's one that uh, that I recommend that uh, that you investigate some more so that's it for this video cheers